everyone welcome back to another video this is bruna today we are going to be crocheting the very trendy fuzzy bag inspired by the 90s i don't know if you've seen these out there already on pinterest on instagram but i see these kind of bags these fluffy fuzzy bags everywhere now some of them they are a little bit smaller and then some of them they are quite this size like a little bit square and they go down to your hips so this is the one that I've created, so super excited about this one. And also with these bags, they usually have a matching bucket hat. So with the leftover yarn, I've created a matching bucket hat using my chunky bucket hat tutorial that I have already on my channel. I'll link that in the description if you want to do one for yourself too. But I'm super excited about this bag. It also has a lining inside, so you can actually go out with this bag and put your things inside and nothing is going to be falling off your bag <laughs> through the little holes here <laughs> on the crochet. So I'm super, super excited about today's video. I really hope you enjoy. And let me know in the comments what color and what yarn you're going to be using to create this bag because I'm super excited. I've created with this beautiful yarn here from teslan.com really really pretty soft and super fuzzy i think it's just the perfect yarn for this bag and bucket hat for this kind of style so i really hope you guys enjoy today's video if you do make sure to give a massive thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the notification bell to receive a notification every time i post a new video i post every friday and sometimes monday too so enjoy the video everyone so let's begin with today's project so these are all the materials we are using for today's project so here we have the yarn that i'm going to be using for the actual project and this one here that I'm going to be doing a little swatch for you guys so you can see the stitches because this yarn is super super fluffy. So this yarn here it's from teslan.com this is also from Tesland. So this one here is the Dion Pelukia Microfiber in the color beige. So this is the yarn for the project and this one here that I'm going to be using for the swatch is the Celine yarn. This one is a worsted yarn 60% wool and 40% acrylic. It's just going to be a little swatch so you can see what I'm actually doing when I'm going to be crocheting with this fluffy yarn. It's a beautiful, fluffy, super soft yarn that I'm using for the bag. And for this yarn here, I'm using a 10 millimeters hook. And for this one, for the swatch, I'm using a 5.5 millimeters hook. And then we are also going to be using a measuring tape so I can measure all the parts for you guys, a tapestry needle and also a small pair of scissors. And if you want to do the lining for the bag, these are the materials you will need. So I have here a lining fabric. This one is also from Tesland. This one is 100% cotton and it's 100 by 70 centimeters. You will also need a fabric scissors a matching thread and then some pins if you want to do the sewing by hand you can if you want to use your sewing machine that it's going to be my case you can also use a sewing machine so i will explain to you all the details on how to also create your lining for the bag so these are all the materials you're going to be using so now let's begin with the tutorial so before i continue i just want to show you kind of the sketch of the bag that i'm trying to do there are two options that you can do for this kind of 90s fuzzy fluffy bag <laughs> so there is the smaller ones they are a shoulder bag but they are very tiny and then there are the the ones that are still shoulder but it's a little bit longer so the smaller one it's going to be kind of like this and then it has the strap all right it's going to be a little bit thicker the bigger one let's say the larger one <laughs> it's going to be kind of more like a square like this and then it's going to have a longer strap all right and this one the width for the bag i want it to be 33 centimeters and then for the length here of the smaller one if you want to do smaller you can do around 17 centimeters i think i'm gonna do the bigger one kind of longer because that's what i usually use rather than this one but just sharing the measurement so you can do one smaller if you want so this one is going to be the same 33 centimeters but the length here is going to be around 30 centimeters all right but you can do a little bit longer if you want to 
and then the strap will go from the side all the way around to the other side. So from the bottom around your shoulders all the way to the other side here at the bottom. It's going to be the same here for the other strap, all right? It's going to start here and then go all the way around and finish right here. The actual bag, I'm going to be using half double crochets. So half double crochets, US terms. And for the strap, I'm going to be using single crochets. So for the base here and the strap, I will show you separately using my swatch yarn, this one. And then after that, I'm going to be using I'm going to be doing everything using this yarn, but then you will see kind of a time lapse of me doing that with the fluffy yarn. So let's start by first creating the base of the bag. I'm going to be doing kind of like a smaller bag, so you can see it's going to be kind of tiny, just for a little Barbie, let's say. <laughs> so let's begin. So when you are doing everything, you wanna make sure that you have your measuring tape with you because we are going to be using the measuring tape to make sure that we do the sizing of the bag that we want. For this swatch, I think I'm going to be keeping it as 10 centimeters, just so we can have an idea. But for the bag, I'm going to be doing 33 centimeters for the width of the bag. So this is the very first thing we are going to be doing. I leave here the end around five, six inches, like around 15 centimeters. Start with your slip knot. And then we are going to be doing a chain that it's long enough to cover the width that you want. So for me, it's 33 centimeters, but for my swatch, I'm going to be doing around 10 centimeters right here that I have already my measuring tape here ready. So you can start with your chains. You want to make sure that you just pull a little bit so you can see if it reaches the, the centimeters that you want because some yarns they are quite stretchy. So I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 chains. So once you have the chain, we are going to be now chaining an extra two so we can go up into the first row. And then from here, into this chain here, which is chain number 11, or the third one from the hook, we are going to be creating our very first half double crochet. So one, two, into this one here. Into the next stitch, half double crochet, and then you're going to be creating half double crochets all the way down the chain into my last one and as you can see right here the very first row completed measures around 10 centimeters so you want to make sure that it measures the centimeters that you want for the the width of your bag so now we are going to be doing the length of the bag from here we are just going to be repeating the same half double crochet rows until we have the length that we want but then we are going to be doubling the amount because we are going to be folding the bag to create the actual bag. So it's going to be this one here that we are going to be doing until we have the length is going to be the front, the bottom and the back of the bag. Okay. So now to go into the next row, we are going to chain two and then we are going to be turning our project because I am using a fluffy yarn. It's going to be really, really hard to find the stitches if I go right on top of the stitches. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go in between the stitches. All right. If you are using a yarn like this one that you can actually see the stitches, then you can actually go right on top of each of the stitches and then you can create all the half double crochets. Because I am using again a fluffy yarn, what I'm going to be doing is finding the space in between this half double crochet and this one. And then right here, just underneath the stitch, I'm going to be creating my half double crochets. Just go right underneath, so there is a stitch here, right underneath the stitch, go through and then create your half double crochet. And then I'm going to be repeating the same all the way down. Okay. 
and then my last one it's going to be in between this half double crochet and the chain two that we've created at the beginning see I'm not going on top of the stitch I'm going around and underneath the stitch he's going to be my last one so that's how it's going to look now we can repeat exactly the same so chain two turn project and then go right in between the two previous stitches just underneath this stitch and then half double crochet and then I'm going to be doing the same all the way down my last one is going to be in between the chain two and the half double crochet there we go you will see that the work is going to be nice and straight it's not going to curve it's not going to decrease it's going to be really nice and straight so the length I want to do 30 centimeters so it's going to be 30 for the back 30 for the front and then around 5 centimeters for the bottom so it's going to be 65 centimeters in total for the length of my bag so here I'm going to be doing around five centimeters for the front and the back and then I'm going to be adding around like three centimeters for the the bottom and the strap so I can explain to you using this smaller yarn right here so this is how it looks once you have all the rows completed I have 14 rows here in total and that's 13 centimeters just so you can have an idea on how I'm going to be doing for the fluffy yarn and the actual size of the bag and then we are going to be having six rows to one side six rows to the other side and then two rows here at the bottom and then we are going to be doing the same thickness for the strap here that goes all the way to the other side so once you've done this we can now fasten off now I'm going to be showing you how to do this into the actual bag using my fluffy yarn. So first we are going to be starting exactly the same as the swatch. I'm doing here a slip knot. Have your measuring tape ready into the centimeters that you want to do. As I told you already, I'm doing around 33 centimeters. And for the base right here with this yarn, I'm going to be doing 18 chains plus two to turn to create the half double crochets. So I'm going to be chaining 18 now here. This one is 27 centimeters. And then if I stretch, it gets to around 31, but it's going to get a little bit bigger because this yarn is quite... Um, is stretchy so you have to kind of try to see how you're gonna get to the centimeters that you want so once I have my 18 chains I'm going to be kind of remembering what this one is because this one is the first one and then I'm going to be chaining an extra two so one and two and then I'm gonna go right into that third chain which is chain number 18 and then here's going to be our first half double crochet so we have 18 chains right here so we must have 18 half double crochets going across the chain and then 19 counting the chain three here at the beginning all right so you have to count all the way down make sure that you find the stitch here with your finger how you find the, the easiest for you. So I'm gonna go all the way down, creating half double crochets, making sure that I have 18 half double crochets and then 19 with the chain two at the beginning. And 19. So 18 half double crochets plus the chain three at the beginning. So you can always count the stitches by finding the spaces in between and this is a stitch so one two three four five six seven eight nine nineteen all right so now you're going to chain two to go up turn project remember that we are going to be working in between 
the stitches so you can find the little gaps right here and then into every gap we are doing a half double crochet so there is a gap right here and you will have 19 stitches counting the chain two here at the beginning all the way across so basically the chain two plus 18 half double crochets that's why i wanted to show you in a little swatch how to do this because with this yarn you don't see anything right <laughs> so finished the second row here so now going to the next one so i'm just gonna go down here with half double crochets and this is all we are going to be doing until we have the 65 centimeters in total of rows i'm going to let you know exactly how many rows that is with this yarn for now i'm not sure because i'm starting <laughs> so once i know i will let you know so as you can see right here, I have completed all the rows that I was supposed to do for the actual bag. I'm just going to be measuring this for you so you can see. Also, when you are measuring this, you want to make sure that you just stretch a little bit because when you're wearing it, it's going to stretch just to make sure. And I have right here 32 rows. So it's going to be 30 rows for the back and then another 30 for the front and then two rows here for the base. And then that's the same width we are going to be doing for our strap. So starting right here, measure all the way to the other side, we have exactly two 65 centimeters. So 30 for the back, 30 for the front, and then five centimeters for the base, which is two rows. So once you have this done, we are going to be already cutting the lining exactly like this size making sure that we have also a seam allowance so i'm going to be opening here my lining fabric so i'm going to my fabric is like this so i'm going to be folding it in half you can always fold the bag right here like this And then you can leave a little bit seam allowance on the sides and here at the top too because we are going to be folding it and then you can just cut it around so i think that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm leaving right here on the side around i don't know you can leave one centimeter not a lot So here we have our lining for the bag and the width is 35 centimeters and the length and the length is around 77 centimeters all right so we have the seam allowance for the top of the bag too so we can fold it and create a really pretty finishing going around the bag so this one is completed we can now fasten off the yarn so you can kind of just leave a little bit of yarn so we can sew this part here with this yarn here already so we don't need to get another one leave enough yarn just to make sure that you will have enough yarn to sew the parts together so now i'm just going to fasten off here and now we are going to be doing the strap so for the swatch we have to do a two centimeters strap so the width is going to be two centimeters so first you're going to be creating a slip knot and then you're going to be chaining as many as you need to reach two centimeters i think three it's enough yeah so Three chains for the little swatch is enough to reach two centimeters and then from here we are going to then chain one go into this very first stitch the very first chain and then we are going to be creating a single crochet and then we are going to go into the next one single crochet and then the third one single crochet so every time we go up we are going to be having three stitches that we have to work with so now you're going to chain one 
turn project single crochet into this very first stitch single crochet into the next one and then into the last one we are now going to be working into the chain one that we are chaining at the beginning of the rows so it doesn't count as a stitch so chain one turn project single crochet into the very first one into the next one and then into the last one leaving the chain here without doing any single crochet so every time you go up you will have three stitches to work with and that's how we are going to be doing the straps I've done mine right here for the fluffy yarn. This one I've done with four single crochets. So you can see that it's five centimeters. If I get from the base all the way to the other side, that's five centimeters. So with the fluffy yarn, we are going to be doing the same. So you're going to create a slip knot to start. And then I'm going to be doing a chain of four plus one. So we can turn so three four and then five right here go into chain number four from the first one and then single crochet so we are going to be having four single crochets for the straps so the first one the second one here the third one and then the last one. And then I'm going to chain one, turn project. I'm going to kind of use my fingers to find the space in between the single crochets or basically the stitch right on top. So you, you just wanna make sure that you have four single crochets every time you go up. So you're going to be doing one, two three and then the last one you just want to make sure that you do kind of in a corner you can see here so right at the end of the row and then the last one and that's all you have to do chain one turn project also if you look this way you will see that you have the little stitches right here so you can also follow that if you want it's very very easy to find once you get the hang of it so this is going to be my strap i have mine completed so i will show you how that looks and how many rows i did so here we have the strap completed as you can see it's super super long with the fluffy yarn i have here 71 rows and if i measure because i think it's going to be better if i measure for you because then you can do exactly the measurement that you need so this strap here is exactly 130 centimeters which is 51 inches so that's the sizing of the strap that i've created you can do longer you can do shorter you can do the size that you want. This is just what I decided to do. So now we are going to be cutting the lining that will go on the side of the bag, which is the same width as the strap right here. So five centimeters plus adding the seam allowance. So around one centimeter is for each side. So five, six, seven, do seven, eight centimeters just to be sure. So to cut the lining for the sides, we just need to cut one piece for each of the sides you don't need to cut exactly the length of this lining all you have to do i'm going to show you now you want to get your fabric right here the same length as the bag here when it's folded all right when the bag is folded and then you're going to be cutting the width that you need i'm going to be cutting around eight centimeters just to make sure that I have enough seam allowance. And then we can just cut all the way down. And then you will have something like this. All we have to do is to cut right in the middle. 
So we have one piece for each side. I'm going to show you how to assemble the lining together, but it's going to be one for this side. We are going to be sewing here at the bottom and then another one for the other side. And then we are kind of going to be having a lining put together. I will show you how to assemble this and how to sew it together. But for now, this is all we are going to be needing for the lining of the bag. So as you can see, I have created here my little swatch for the straps so I can show you the next step. Once you have created the length you want, we can now fasten off. You wanna leave just a little bit of yarn as well to sew the end here to the side of the bag. And then you have to find the middle. So you're going to be counting one, two, three, four, five, six and then seven eight so these two rows here is the middle we can always just pin here in place like this all you have to do is to fold one of the sides and then you're going to be sewing it right here and then you're going to be folding the other side and then you're going to be sewing it right here all the way around. So this yarn here that it's at the end, I'm just going to be moving all the way to the top, just like this in a zigzag motion, just so we have this yarn right at the top here. So we can do one entire sewing all the way around so we don't have to reattach any yarn in place. And then once you have this, all you have to do is to put the sides together and then sew it all the way around. So I'm going to be starting right here. You want to make sure that it's nice and straight. Find a stitch here on the side, here on the strap. And then you're just going to be sewing this all the way down. Make sure that you secure the yarn here at the top. I usually just sew like around two, three times here just to make sure that it's nice and, and tight. And then I'm gonna go all the way down, sewing the two parts here together. Once you've done the side, you will be doing the bottom. then we are going to be bringing the other side and then putting it right here making sure that it's nice and straight here with the other side you can always pin here together just to make sure that it's going to be nice and straight and then we can sew here the other side together Once you have done that, we can fasten off here at the end and then we can weave this yarn already in. This yarn is going to be inside the lining so you don't have to worry too much about it. And that's how we sew the strap here on the side and now you can do exactly the same on the other side and the bag is going to be ready as you can see oh my god it looks so cute <laughs> i'm going to be using these yarns that i have right here just to show you how it looks so i'm just going to do here the other side so once you have finished sewing the sides this is how it should look all you have to do is to turn inside out and you have your little bag <laughs> you can actually make this one instead of the one that i'm going to be making this one is a little bit smaller you have the measurements at the beginning of the video this is more like a it is a shoulder bag but it's a lot shorter in length so you can actually do that and it looks super cute look at this oh my god 
And you can see that using this yarn, it looks really pretty too. So you can actually choose any yarn that you want to use. Look at that. So now I'm going to be joining the actual bag together. <laughs> so now we are going to be repeating the same thing as I made here, sewing the sides with the straps. But this time we are doing into the actual bag, <laughs> the real size bag. This one is more like a size for my cat, really. <laughs> So for this one, I'm not really counting the rows. What I'm going to be doing is just folding it, finding the two rows here at the bottom. You can see two rows here. And then I suppose I have 30 here and 30 here. You can always count. I do everything like this. <laughs> you don't have to follow me. And then I'm just going to be matching into these two rows here at the bottom, my strap. I am going to be pinning this in place just to make sure that it's not going to be moving anywhere when I'm sewing. I'm going to be putting two pins right here just to be sure that it's not going to be moving. And then here I'm going to be sewing this one all the way around using this yarn here from the bag that I left here. And then the other side, I'm going to be using the yarn that I left on the strap. Oh my god, I'm loving it! <laughs> oh my god, everyone. So I'm just showing you, I'm just gonna show you here because I'm already getting super excited. It's looking so pretty! Oh my god, it's so, so pretty. I can't, I can't with how cute this looks. So I've crocheted and sewed. So I've sewed here this side. I'm already talking all wrong because I'm super excited. So when you sew in the straps, I just wanted to add that here. You want to make sure that the strap is not twisted so you're going to be putting here on the other side and then sewing all the way around but you want to make sure that the strap is not twisted otherwise you're going to have to redo this and if you have to undo any of the sewing it's probably going to be the biggest headache you ever had in your life so make sure that nothing is twisted and then sew it oh my gosh i'm so excited everyone i'm just gonna sew here because i'm getting crazy excited already and also you want to make sure that it's nice and straight here both sides all right all right <laughs> oh gosh everybody i'm so excited so i have finished the sewing as you can see and you can see that i've left little tails here when i finished the sewing because no one is going to see the reverse because we are going to be adding a lining so this is how the bag looks i'm just going to be turning here inside out the bag is looking so cute. Look at this, everyone. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It looks so pretty. Oh my God, I cannot wait to show you. <laughs> so turn back on the reverse because we are going to be sewing the lining now. 
and we are going to be doing exactly the same as we did right here but with the lining so get the lining pieces all the three pieces that we need and you will need some pins too so we can pin it together and then take to the sewing machine and then sew everything in place so first you're going to get the bigger one you can fold it in half if you're fabric has the right and wrong side make sure that the right side it's on the inside right here the outside it's the reverse where we are going to be doing the sewing so you can go into one of the sides here so you have the right side facing the right side of the fabric right here first we have to just find the middle of this piece right here so this is the middle and then you're just going to be joining with the middle of the fabric so this is folded so join here at the bottom and then here we are going to be pinning this one here in place and then we are going to be pinning all the way around so with this side first and then with the other side so what I usually do is I start sewing from one of the sides here and then I go all the way through and then here the same from here all the way across and then we will have here the bottom left and then I just fold it and then I create a straight sewing at the bottom I'm gonna show you how I'm going to be doing that but for now you just want to make sure that you pin the sides here in place so now you want to do the same here on the other side so now i'm just going to be bringing my sewing machine right here and we are going to be sewing this together so as i've mentioned we are going to be sewing first the sides and then lastly the bottom going straight because then we are going to be having the perfect uh, bottom that it's like the same size as here the sides so i'm going to bring my sewing machine and we're going to be doing that So once you've done the sewing on both sides, all we have to do now is just to make it nice and straight here at the bottom and then you can create a straight sewing right here. So that's what I do. You can do any other way you want. So once you've done that, you can just turn on the right side and then check if everything is fine, if you need to do anything else. So it's nice and straight. So I like that. All right. No gaps to close or anything like that. No little holes. So that's good. Also here with the raw edges, I'm going to be going with a zigzag stitch all the way around. So you can do that as well. So once you have done the lining, I have mine completed right here so what we are going to be doing now it's just create a little hemming right here right at the top by folding it twice and then creating just a hem so we can sew it nicely around the bag so it's not gonna have any frills here at the top so how you're going to be doing the hemming it's having the lining here on the reverse and here it's where you're going to be doing the hemming so you're going to be folding it twice and then what I like to do is just pin right here in place all the way around to make sure that the hemming is nice and straight. So that's what I do first. And then I just sew all the way around.
So once you have the lining completed, this is how it should look, as you can see. And when you turn on the right side, you can see that it looks really nice and straight here at the bottom. So that's how I usually do when it's something like that. <laughs> so to sew around the inside of the bag, you wanna make sure that the wrong side is facing you, so it's on the outside. So I have my bag on the right side, so the wrong side is right here, as you can see. So we wanna make sure that the lining is on the reverse. So we are going to be placing the reverse on the inside. So the right side is going to be showing right here when we look the inside of the bag. And then the reverse is going to be touching the reverse of the bag, as you can see. I usually like to start here on the side. So I match the sides here. I also use some pins. So you're going to be pinning the lining all the way around the bag first. Also, the lining was a little bit bigger, so if your lining is a little bit bigger going around, what you can do is just create a little dart like this by folding the fabric, and then you can just sew the lining like this, just a little dart. So sometimes when the lining is too big, I just do a little dart and then I just pin in place so I can sew it together. So to sew the lining in place, you will need a little bit of the thread that we sewed the lining in place and then a sewing needle and we are just going to be using a little bit of the thread we are going to be threading it through the needle here I use a double thread on my needle and then here at the end I just make a knot and that's how I sew my lining in place I do little by little I don't get a massive thread because it does get kind of tangled so I like to just do little by little. So once you have your thread and needle ready all you have to do is to sew the lining in place. The first thing I do is just create a little fasten off a little knot here into the reverse of the lining and then what I do I just move this thread to right at the top of the lining and then from there I just start sewing and then all you have to do is to grab a little bit of the yarn and then a little bit of the lining and sew it in place I usually do right at the top so you will see what I'm doing right here so just sew all the way around following the pins right at the top grabbing a little bit of the yarn a little bit of the lining and then just repeat the same going all the way around so I'm going to be doing my sewing right here I'm gonna do a little time lapse for you and then I'll meet you right at the end. So I'm getting here at the end now. All you have to do is to fasten off and cut your yarn. And we are done with the bag! Oh my god, I'm so excited, everyone. I am... Oh my god, so excited. I cannot wait to show you. It looks so pretty! So to fasten off, I just go through the fabric and then fasten off exactly how you fasten off the yarn. Oh my god, I do usually like three times just to make sure that the thread is nice and secured in place. Cut it! Oh my god, we are done! Oh my goodness, everyone, we have just completed our fuzzy bag. <laughs> so with my leftover yarn, I'm going to be making my chunky bucket hat. So if you want to follow the bucket hat, I'm going to be also linking that in the description so you can make one matching your fuzzy bag because why not, right? So I'm going to be doing a time lapse of me creating the bucket hat but if you want to learn in more details and as a tutorial I'm going to be linking that in the description so feel free to check it out!
oh my god are you seeing what i'm seeing right now <laughs> because we have just completed both the bag and the matching bucket hat if you want to do this one it's following my bucket hat my chunky bucket hat tutorial you can always add a little bit more rows here for the side of the bucket hat so it makes a little bit longer i followed exactly that tutorial from right at the top so i didn't have to add anything else because that was for the sizing of my head and look at this Oh my god we have a fuzzy fluffy bag and a matching bucket hat i can't with how cute these look oh my god oh my god oh my god so our bag looks like this it has lining inside really fun really trendy really aesthetic super aesthetic actually <laughs> so I got this idea from Pinterest. I saw a lot of girls taking pictures with fuzzy. I think the term for this bag is fuzzy bag, like the 90s kind of style, fuzzy bags. And then matching with a bucket hat using the same kind of yarn and this kind of fluffy yarn. So I really wanted to do one. I really, really love the bags that are a little bit longer and they are kind of more square. So I went for that, but you can actually customize this, this tutorial and then you can do the ones that are a little bit smaller with a smaller strap as well. They will be probably like this, kind of. Kind of like that. So you can actually do that one too by just creating less rows and then doing all the same steps as I showed you in the tutorial. But I'm super excited, oh my God. I'm super excited everyone and I really hope you, you have enjoyed too. Let me know in the comments how it was for you to follow, what color you have used. Also if you end up making any of these tag me on Instagram so I can see your creations. I love to see everything you do following the videos here from my channel. So thank you everyone for watching today's video. If you enjoyed make sure to leave your massive thumbs up as you always do, comment below, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. I post every Friday or Saturday sometimes Monday too, so stay tuned for all the videos that I have coming up. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!